Beethoven's music in my life is really about the music and that human being who made that music. And yeah, he was a visionary, so incredibly inspiring in that way. Opus 2020 comes out of really ideas about Beethoven's music in, in music history. In 1970, for the 200th anniversary, uh, Stockhausen was commissioned to write a commemorative piece, a Beethoven piece. He wrote this piece, Opus 1970, where he made a special version of his work Kurzwellen. And Kurzwellen, so shortwave, um, is a piece for multiple radios. So I took that as a kind of jumping off point. And I thought, well, I'd like to bring electronic music practice into this Beethoven world and put them together. And I thought about tape loops. And I like the idea of the image of the loop, you know, repetition, memory, all of those things come in it. So I made this piece where the orchestra plays loops of material of different lengths. So they're like tape loops, but they're played instrumentally. So it sort of puts together the electronic music and instrumental music, uh, which is very characteristic of what I do generally. Beethoven is uh, kind of a visionary, revolutionary artist, somebody who takes the musical culture of his time and just blows it up. His work is a kind of bomb into that culture. Uh, it's a, the bomb of the future and of possibility and of music doing more than it had before. I often think of Beethoven as a sort of proto-punk rocker. Um, in that his whole work is about saying, yes, this is what we've got already, but now let's go here, let's try something completely different. So Opus 2020 is a, a kind of evolving landscape, and it's a slow trip through this evolving landscape, and the features in that landscape are made by Beethoven.